Mercy, back here again with another video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, my. Yes, sir. Yes, viewers. Yes, subscribers. Mercy, back here again with another video. Now, Gangland 2 just came out yesterday, okay? And it's basically my whole reaction to the Gangland episode 2. Now, let me let me lie to you, okay? The first essay, 5 to 10 minutes of the whole documentary nearly got to me, okay? It is the worst feeling in the world, okay, to see a mother crying because she lost her son. That is the one of the worst feelings. Like, she was like, that's one of the worst things a parent could do to bury their children. Children are supposed to bury their parents. Parents are not supposed to bury their children, you know? And it's, it just hit me so hard of how real this is that... 16, 15 year old people are being lost and there's the mothers have to deal with it, you know, and it's just crazy, you know, and that's a thing that I'll, I'll, I will wish not to happen to my worst enemy, you know, and when I say that, I mean it, okay, because I remember me and my friend was talking about cheating, okay, like cheating on your girl, cheating thing, yeah, and he said like, yo, I, I don't wish it on my worst enemy for them to get cheated on, and I, and I was like, are you stupid, are you stupid, when my ex got cheated on, yeah, you don't know the excitement, I was like, eh, hey, you got cheated on, eh, eh, come on, eh, eh. down my street, I gave money to every homeless man, because I was so, so happy my ex got cheated, but, <clears throat> let's, 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 push that to one side, you know, and to be honest, that really hit me, you know, just seeing a mother cry because she lost her son, because she lost her child, just bring, brings the realness to it, you know, and this episode was way more mellow, way more calm down, just really showing what happens after the killing, what happens after the stabbing, you know, and I can just quickly say one thing, okay, the way the, the um, narrator, the way the um, voiceover guy does it, okay, it's like, almost like it's a documentary, like, oh, stupid, Oh, almost like it's a documentary. Oh, cause it is. It's almost like it's a Discovery Channel. You know the Discovery Channel had the comment. Uh, the narrator goes, says, "Oh, right here we have a hood man in his natural habitat, the road, and now you can see the hood man in his natural clothing, Balenciagas. Oh my God, and tight jeans with holes in them. Oh." Oh no, we've been spotted. We've been spotted. Run, run, run. You know, we committed it. And to be honest, okay, to rich white people, to rich people, okay, or to people who are oblivious to what's happening, they're, they're like this. Oh, golly God, look what these black people are doing. So it's almost like a discovery channel to them. Uh, the way they're seeing how one snapshot of London look, a snapshot in a certain area looks, you know. And the funny thing is, okay, is that when they showed a positive thing, meaning that that guy, I forgot that guy's name, okay, but that guy who works in the office, okay, and that guy who used to be a gang member, but is now helping gang members to get into work or gang work, gang members to make their own business, okay. I saw them, they spent like five minutes on that scene, they're like, you know what, show it quickly and turn off the camera. We need to go, we need to go back to the negative stuff, you know. For five minutes, they show a positive thing, okay, about how a guy in a gang, okay, um, is now working to help people build, build businesses, okay. And that was a good thing. But only show it for like five minutes, like, no, five minutes, it's over. That's, that, that's it. That, that, no, it's not, it's just too much, it's too much. Let's show the negative things again. Should I have a knife? Yep, I like that. Yep, yep, yep. And for people that are saying that, yo, Channel 5, go and make one showing the black accident. Channel 5, go and show um, pe black people making it, showing black people coming from harsh backgrounds to them making it from um, difficult backgrounds difficult backgrounds to them making it, okay? Channel 5 won't do that. Do you know why? It's not newsworthy to them, okay? Now, Channel 5, they want to make money, okay? Now, that, that's a simple thing. They want to make money, okay? And if it's at the expense of a race being stereotyped, okay, being black people or, or people or Londoners, they don't care, fam. People, and this, this, is how, this is how the world works. This is, this is how the world works, okay? People will rather see negative stuff, bad stuff, evil stuff, people dying stuff, rather than good stuff, excellent stuff, cool stuff, you know? That, that's how the world works. People will rather see death than life. People will rather see failure than success, and that's how it is, okay? If you fail, you get more friends than if you pass. That, that, that's, that, that's a simple thing. If you fail, okay, people will be like, Oh, you failed. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my God. You fell. Oh, you got D. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Uh, let me console you. Hey, hey show me your breast. Oh, let me console you. I'm so sorry for you failing. I'm so sorry. Uh, everyone, everyone will come around you and support you. But if you pass, oh, you study too much. Uh, you're a banger, fam. Uh, you're a nerd, fam. You're a nerd. So people rather... Why am I backdrop falling? So people... Stop, bro. What's wrong with you? 
Cause, cause, it's because you're white, you're racist, isn't it? No, no, it's falling on me. So, yeah, so people would rather see failure than than you going forward, and that's how it is, and that's how that's why Channel Five will hardly show anything like that. They want to make money, even though it's, it's at the expense of black people. They don't care, but at least they showed. At least it's at least it's over. Okay, two episodes done. They've exposed Londoners. That the the original um the the main guy, I've got, the one that had hair like that. Like a waterfall, he's gone to jail for a few years. Obviously, this guy sold himself out to, on on camera. Apparently, so many people went to jail as well when recording. Like, what do you expect? Like, I don't understand. Your gang member uh, authority gives you a camera to record yourself. You record yourself, and you go to prison. Why are you surprised? You you got camera. You started vlogging like a YouTuber. You vlogged your life. And you. Apparently, that like 80 plus people went to prison or went to jail or got some kind of punishment because of what they recorded, you know. So, obviously, it's just mad. It's just bad. But it's just crazy, you know. No parent should bury their children or child, okay? And it's mad. As that's what I say, it's, it's, it's mad. But they need to shift this. They did it to shift the camera to the positive side. But unfortunately, that would never be broadcasted on live TV unless it's on the on a, one of those black channels of BET, BET or one of the channels that focus on black excellence. Uh, yeah, but on a national TV like BBC, even though it's national TV, I mean like something like BBC, ITV, Channel Five. I doubt it. I doubt it. In the next few years, I well we have to believe, but in the next few years, I highly doubt it. Anyway, messy back here with another video. Peace, love, and um, it's crazy, but. That's how, that's, that's how the world goes, and it, and it, and it and now is in our hands to work for to change. Even though it's gonna be very, 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 very hard. Let's go, peace, love, and yeah.